Iconic couple Beyoncé and Jay-Z caused quite the stir when they sat down during the national anthem at Super Bowl 54 in Miami. Most people found out about their decision when TMZ posted a video of the duo and their daughter, 8-year-old Blue Ivy, sitting down while Demi Lovato belted out the Star Spangled Banner. Outraged headlines and reactions spread like wildfire from the usual outlets, including a chastising from critic Kyle Smith, who argued in the New York Post that the musicians should, quote, have gratitude for their country. Of course, sitting down during the national anthem is vastly more layered than not respecting the USA and its veterans. Case in point, former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick's Take a Knee movement, which is about peacefully drawing awareness to racial injustice in America. But were Mr. and Mrs. Carter taking a hard political stance, or was this just an honest misunderstanding? The curiosity is especially heightened considering that Jay-Z's label, Rock Nation, partnered with the NFL in August 2019 to, quote, "...help advise on the selection of artists for major NFL performances like the Super Bowl in order to nurture and strengthen community through football and music, including through the NFL's Inspire Change initiative," per the NFL's website. Jay-Z had the chance to address the Super Bowl 54 backlash during a talk at New York's Columbia University two days later, which reshaped the narrative of this entire controversy. According to Page Six, when asked whether the move was a political one, Jay-Z said, "...it wasn't. Sorry, it really wasn't." The 99 Problems rapper then dove into an explanation of how he and Beyoncé were focused on the pre-show performances, featuring artists picked with the help of Rock Nation. He continued, I'm looking at the show. Did the mic start? Was it too low to start? The whole time we're sitting there, we're talking about the performance. Then, right after that, Demi comes out, and we're talking about how beautiful she looks and how she sounds and what she's gone through in her life for her to be on the stage. We're so proud of her." The New York native, who revealed he wouldn't have included his young daughter in a political protest, also argued boundaries were pushed at Jennifer Lopez and Shakira's inclusive halftime show, saying, I didn't have to make a silent protest. If you look at the stage, the artists that we chose, Colombian Shakira, Puerto Rican J-Lo, we were making the biggest, loudest protest of all." Jay-Z's connection to the NFL is complicated and teeming with controversy, so it's honestly no surprise that his attendance at the Super Bowl sparked some drama. It all started when the rapper publicly supported Colin Kaepernick in 2017 during an appearance on Saturday Night Live, wearing a jersey with the former 49ers star's name and his team number emblazoned on the back. The musician also dedicated a song, The Story of O.J., to Kaepernick at one of his concerts in September 2017, a tune largely about the struggles of African-American people in America. Kaepernick, who opted out of his contract with the 49ers in March 2017, was allegedly being blackballed by the NFL at the time for his involvement in the Take a Knee movement. Despite enjoying an impressive career up until his disagreements with the organization, as of the making of this video, he remains unsigned by an NFL team. Considering Jay-Z had supported the ex-football star in years past, some people were outraged when he struck up a massive deal with the NFL in 2019. The dad of three seemingly brushed off the backlash, arguing it's time to move forward from Kaepernick. Jay-Z told the New York Times in February 2020, "...no one is saying he hasn't been done wrong. He was done wrong. I would understand if it was three months ago, but it was three years ago, and someone needs to say, what do we do now, because people are still dying." There's an ongoing debate about whether Jay-Z's partnership with the NFL and his leadership of the Inspire Change initiative is effective. Sports writer Jamel Hill argued in The Atlantic in August 2019, "...it doesn't matter whom the NFL partners with or how much money it pours into social justice causes. The league's actions come off as disingenuous because Kaepernick remains unemployed as a result of a peaceful protest." Inspire Change has attempted to draw awareness of racial injustice in America, working together with the NFL Players Coalition. One example is when the Players Coalition aired a commercial during Super Bowl 54 highlighting the death of Corey Jones, who was killed by a police officer in 2015. Jones was the cousin of former Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Anquan Bolden. Bolden founded the coalition after the tragedy, hoping it will improve police community relations and criminal justice reform. Culture writer Hannah Georgis found the ad ineffective, noting in The Atlantic, there was no reference to the work of a specific community-based organization or commentary on what kinds of policies might best combat police brutality. Rather, Bolton invoked his cousin's memory specifically to promote the NFL's Inspire Change program. With the spot, the league chose to elevate its own work above everything else. Bottom line, the relationship between the NFL and Jay-Z, including where it concerns the national anthem, continues to be controversial.
Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.